Hi, Macho. Um, Hello. <laughs> good to see you again. Um, so I was your teacher at SGI a few years back. Um, yeah. Can you can you remember why why you chose SGI? Um, yeah. So I was like in the final years of my of my high school, and I've done a few I've done a few courses. Mm -hmm. um, it's quite a popular thing to do in Poland to go for a summer somewhere like in England for a summer school uh -huh. and le learn some English. And I've done a few of those like in various places, but I wasn't really very satisfied because it was all organized like for, by a, by someone in Poland. And as a result, you always had a massive group of Polish people going to one place and just hanging out and speaking Polish. Yeah. Um, so I just took the liberty of finding a good looking place myself. Mm -hmm. um, and. And I also thought I really wanted to go to London because you know it's nice going to England, but London is like the uh, another another place, and it's, uh, <laughs> quite excited about how much is going on. Yeah. Uh -huh. And SGI looked really solid in there, um, so just by looking by looking online, really. And uh, when when you finished uh, lessons every day, did you go and exploit London afterwards? Yeah, I did quite a lot of that. Um, I actually can't remember exactly what I was doing, but uh, I definitely um, I, I definitely went to a theatre quite a few times. Uh -huh. uh, I, I distinctly remember going to see Hair, I mean, the musical, which I heard through. Oh uh, yeah, I remember you saying yeah. Super excited about that, and I still, you know, um, every now and again now I still go to London just to see a musical, uh -huh. uh, and so um, and I definitely remember that every time every time I go there because I just. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, I I definitely took a trip to Oxford where I'm now, so at least I found out about the place. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah. So let's just uh, in a kind of like ex SGI students, where are they now? So can you give a bit of an update on what you're doing now? Yeah. So after finishing course in SGI, I did another year of high school in Poland, and then I went to study physics in Oxford, yeah. where yeah. I'm in my fourth year now, looking around for PhDs. So you're doing a master's now. Yeah, that's correct. Okay. So, good memories of SGI overall? Yeah, actually, uh, I was I, I was quite impressed. Uh, as I say, like, um, I was initially a bit scared of the choice because I really didn't know much about it. But I really felt like, um, like it was a good school, like it's sort of... Um, but overall, like the quality, just the quality of teaching was really solid. You could see that the people in there, you know, they could teach, mm -hmm. and it wasn't just like it's very easy to like hack up an English school just by grabbing some English people uh, <laughs> and asking them to speak English. Yeah. But um, one 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 thing is, for example, common for some schools to do is just accept as many people as possible uh -huh. and just then you know fit everyone in the class. Whereas you in here, you really do feel like it's sort of more personalized, they take it more seriously, and they know what they're doing. Yeah. And also, like, um, there's the school club quite a lot of like accommodation, and uh, the accommodation was actually pretty good. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I might have been a bit skeptical about it at the time, but I didn't know that accommodation in England is generally a bit shite. Uh, <laughs> but in the end, I'm now thinking that I was living in you know the very central London yeah. for mm -hmm. really not that much money. Uh -huh. um, I'm actually quite impressed with that. Now that now that I know people who actually live in London, yeah. and I know what sort of struggles they have to go through. <laughs> well, uh, I can remember teaching you, and I remember you were, you know, quite young, I think, at the time. And I was very impressed with your maturity and your uh, your knowledge and everything. And that's really blossomed at your success at Oxford. So it's uh, you know I'm really really happy for you, and uh, it's great to still be in touch with you. Yeah.